It started when I was about 10, when um, my parents separated and my mum met someone else. And yeah, it started from about 10 up until about 16 when I left. Scary, uncomfortable. Um, you don't sleep, you just, you know, your appetite goes, it's just not a nice feeling. You're on edge as well all the time. Um, yeah, and it distracts you from schoolwork. No, because my mum's my mum. She's the only person I had in my life, really. My dad had gone left. I just wanted to stay with her, even though it was bad. And I knew it was bad, because it was having a really big impact on us all, but I just, yeah, she's my mum, I love her. So I, need to stay I just left, I just went and got an hostel in town, just left. So I, went, I went to Great George Street in town and just said that I was homeless and I explained my situation, got me an hostel, did it all myself. Speak to a teacher, tell a teacher, just tell somebody, not maybe so much as someone else's parents are, but tell tell a member of staff at school. Someone that you can trust, because when you're growing up in school, there's certain teachers you can open up to, you can talk to them, you have a connection with, if that makes sense. Um, and I had a few teachers like that that could just openly speak to. I knew it was wrong, like, I knew it wasn't normal, like, but I still went there, with, if that makes sense. So, yeah, no. Women's Health matters have been brilliant. Um, um, outreach workers from nursery as well, they're, they're pretty good to talk to if you need help or whatever. I was petrified. I felt they were out to take my son away from me. I just didn't want to work with him. I was scared of him. I just, so straight away, I just didn't want to work. I just couldn't relate to him. You know, I were a, a bit of arrogance as well, I think. A bit of denial going on, you know, pretending everything's fine, but. Halfway through, I realised that to like win with social services, you need to work with them. And just go along with all plans set in place. Really made me realise a lot as well when social services took me to court, not for custody, but to get him on um, an interim supervision order, which obviously it's final step to taking him. Um, but that made me realise a lot. It made me wake up, and you know I had to first, um, yeah, rather than putting his dad first, myself, my own needs. Yeah, it did, it had um, a big influence on what I thought about him from younger to my situation, cause straight away I thought they were just going to take my son, and that's how I felt from growing up, and that's what I thought, I always thought about social services, but they're actually not there to take your kids or out to get you, they're there to help. And the, the main priorities for social services is, is the child, not nobody else. It's about that child's safety. When they go in, the main priority is the children and their safety. And from what I recall, the last police call out at an incident where I was, the main priority was to get the kids out of that situation. There were broken glass, there were, you know, blood everywhere. And the main priority was to get them three children, the youngest, out of that situation and get them to safety. So I think they deal with kids efficiently, me. I think they're good with kids when they go into something like that. They speak to them nicely, you know, calmly. Just how they are, you know, they, they don't come across as aggressive, you know, they don't come across as, I don't know, intimidating. Because police can be quite intimidating to small children, I think. Um, but they don't, they're not like that. Try and get help if you can. I know it's, it is difficult, because I found it difficult to phone police myself when my son's dad was assaulting me and stuff and nine times out of ten it went neighbours calling but if you can just speak to somebody, whether it's police, health visitor, anyone or even ask social services for help off your own back yourself, you know. Just that the, there's a light, you know, you can, you can move forward with your life, you don't have to be stuck back there where you are or you don't have to stay in that situation. There's, there's loads of help they offer, refuges, there's just all sorts of things, you know, just brilliant.